Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, my home on YouTube. Today's video is all about my skincare and what I've been using um, during these really cold, freezing months of December and January, actually. It kind of literally starts like end of October, November, December, January, February, and pretty much till March until we start getting rain again, but um, yeah. Um, so some of these have really helped and turned my skin around um, to like hydration, to brightness, um, I've noticed differences in hyperpigmentation. So yeah, these guys are my ride or dies for the winter months. And yeah, anyways, um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all social media at Campy Rehaul. Um, subscribe, the red, the red button is just at the bottom. And let's just get right into the video. So, skincare, so important. So, so, so important. So you can put on tons and tons of makeup on your skin, on your face, but if your skincare routine isn't on a regular, that makeup can look kind of dull, not as bright, not as great. Sometimes you're looking for foundations that are just hydrating, but why not just hydrate throughout the night or throughout the day while you are um, got that makeup on? That way you got longer, um, like you'll see more results in the future instead of just trying to find like say the foundation that's going to hydrate your skin or the concealer that's going to keep your skin um, under eye hydrated. So my suggestion is to be constantly um, using skincare routine, a regular skincare routine um, in your schedule. So you don't need to like all of a sudden, oh my God, my skin is just completely breaking out. It's so dry. If you keep it going, um, I promise you, your skin will start looking better in all different parts from brightness to hydration to hyperpigmentation to all that kind of stuff. So I want to start off um, by showing you some of my um, products. Again, these are just my opinions and what has worked for my skin. Um, everybody's skin is different, so everything is going to work differently for everybody else. So that being said, let's start off. Removing makeup is very, very important. Um, that makeup has been on your skin for, I don't know, eight hours. Some of us wear it for 10 hours, 12 hours. It is very, very important to take off that makeup um, to have a healthy, uh, to have healthy skin. Um, so my very first, I cleanse like double, triple cleanse. I do use wipes. So I do try to remove as much as you can, I can with the wipes. Then I go in with um, my actual cleanser. So I use a water comfort one step cleanser. It says one step, but again, the first step was the wipes. The second step is this guy here. This is what I use. I just put a little bit on a a little bit on a cotton pad and I just kind of go all over, even on top of the eyes, um, around the, um, on the lashes, everything. You can, if you're using heavy, heavy makeup, you can definitely go in with a eye makeup remover. I don't regularly put on a lot of makeup on my eyes, so I, this guy works great for me. So the Clarins um, Water Comfort One Step Cleanser. And then I go in with my face cleanser. So I use, right now I'm using the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser, which is this guy, as you can see, I'm almost done it. Um, this one is exfoliating a little bit. Now, um, some people think that if you exfoliate, um, your skin's gonna be dry, but if you're hydrating it on a regular basis, it's very important for some of us to be exfoliating at least once a week just to remove the dead skin cells off of our skin. So I do use this guy. Then I go in with a toner. Now a toner is very important for your skin after you wash it with any sort of soap because it's gonna actually bring um, your, I don't even know how to say it, like that moisture back in, because right now you've, you've taken out all the moisture by adding that water into it, by adding that cleanser, by adding that uh, makeup remover, so all of that um, moisture is gone. So now a toner is gonna actually help with that. This one is for combination or oily skin, it's alcohol free. Toning lotion with iris, it's from Clarins. I'm almost done it, it's such a big bottle. But I put this a little bit on and you will see that even though I've done, like I've told you about doing the um, 
wipes, the um, makeup remover, the um, face wash, there will still be makeup on your skin left over. You always have makeup left over. You'll be surprised at how much a toner will take off. So that is also very important. So that is the last step of my cleansing um, routine of when I have makeup on my skin. So we've taken off all our makeup, all that. We're gonna go in with our nighttime routine. So right now I have been using this guy, uh, Sawasu First Care. Um, so it's like a, I'll show you what it looks like. It's only available at like a few stores. So I don't know if you can kind of see that. Let's see, just, it's almost like an orange color. You can't really see it on the skin. But um, this guy you're supposed to put on and everything else is supposed to deeply penetrate into your skin further with this guy on. So that's why it is called First Care Activating Serum. So it's a serum that's gonna activate everything else that you're gonna put onto your skin after this guy. So that's this one, the Sawasu. Then after that, I go in with the Kate Somerville uh, Serum, Soothe and Restore. Um, this one right here. So it is like a dropper like this and it looks just like that. I think I'm almost done. No, there's quite a bit in there still. But anyway, so I just put like a drop on each cheek and just kind of massage it all over. So this is actually supposed to be, I was told, a more of a natural version of retinol. So something that's not very um, irritating on the skin. Uh, some people are afraid to start using retinol. This guy is a good way to start because it is a more of a natural type of um, product that's gonna work like a retinol without giving you like that the breakouts the um the irritation now these guys i only use in the evening including the sawasu one and this one i only use it in the evening and i do remember to always put on a sunscreen and lately another one for my nighttime routine is this guy here i think i've talked about this before it's the shiseido ibuki beauty sleeping mask right here and it looks like like a kind of like a gel formula right there um if you can see it's really really jelly um and i massage this all over including the neck and this is going to add hydration brightness um to your skin this you put on at nighttime and trust me in the morning time your skin is going to be so soft and it's gonna look so bright. Um, that guy I use, I don't use it every day, but lately I have been using it almost every day because the air is so dry. Um, I have been using this guy every day and it's got like this lavender kind of scent to it. So it actually um, helps you sleep. So it gives you like that calming, soothing effect in the evening time for you to kind of get ready for bed and fall asleep. So I love this guy and I know I've talked about it a few times as well. So that, and then we can't forget our lips. So this guy, um, the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask is what I use um, just in the evenings. I find it too thick to use in the daytime. Some people do use it in the daytime, but for me, it's way too thick. It's like a, almost like a Vaseline sort of texture. Like if you can, I don't know if you can see that. It's like a Vaseline texture and for me in the daytime that's way too thick um, for my lips i like to put it on in the evening time before i'm going to bed and that i've been using it every day again like i said it's so dry so that is really good to add a little bit of moisture and hydration to the lips you don't want to forget the lips just because you've done in your face you don't want to forget the lips so that thing is amazing anything by beauty is just so good Okay, so those were my nighttime routine. And then um, daytime routine is definitely a 
what do I go in? I wash my face again, and then I go in with the, right now I've been using this, the Kodaly, um Serum. So this guy is supposed to actually um, help with hyperpigmentation and brightness. So it's supposed to add radiance to the skin. It's a dropper again. And I just put on, again, two drops. And this is the first thing I put on. I do spray my face a little bit with some Caudalie grape water or just regular water. I spray it first. And then I put this guy on. And then after the, it says AM, PM. But because I've got so many things that I'm putting on in the PM, I'm using this guy in the AM. Because then it's just way too many steps. Um, this guy. And then I go in with the Caudalie resveratol um, moisturizer so this one is a face lifting soft cream this guy is so nice it's so luxe it's like super super thick um, and it's supposed to be like anti-aging and lifting for the skin it's so nice I don't know if you can see that love it and your makeup glides on really nicely. Now, if you don't want to use any primer, you can just go in with this and your makeup will glide on really, really nicely. Now, according to this, you're supposed to put it on the face and neck um, after your serum, that one. Again, you don't have to have both of them. If you don't want the serum, you can just go in with the moisturizer, but definitely go in with the moisturizer. So that guy, and then your under eye. I don't put any under eye cream at nighttime. Um, I don't know why. Mostly because like every time I put it on at any time, I feel like it stings the eye. Every one I've tried, it stings my eye, but it doesn't in the daytime. So in the daytime, I'm using this um, a more Pacific rejuvenating eye treatment gel, moisture bound. So that one is just like that. And again, it's like a gel texture. You need a very, very small amount and you just go in underneath the eyes and you can feel how hydrating and brightening it is. So that's the eye cream. Um, and then I go in with my primer. So this is a primer I use, and this primer has an SPF of 45. So it's an oil and pore control mattifier. I don't like to have my skin look super dewy. It's a chemical sunscreen, I believe, not a physical one. Um, but I love it because I have like an oily T-zone area, and this whole area gets really oily. But this guy is so amazing. It's oil control, pore control, um, pore minimizer, not pore control, but okay, yeah. Um, this one is from Murad and I love it. I've like, I have not find, found a primer that I've actually seriously fallen in love with. And this is the only one. This is the first one that I've found that I've actually fallen in love with. Before, I never even used to use a primer, but then, when I found out that um, this one has an SPF as well, well, you know, that's great. And it, it really does make a difference when you're putting on this guy. I don't find all primers really make a difference, but I found that this one does. So that is my primer. And then in the daytime, I also put on a little bit of a lip balm while I'm doing my makeup, which is just this one here from Too Faced. It's the peach uh lip balm and this guy really does smell i was gonna go like this so you can smell it but you really can't smell it but it smells like peaches and it is super duper nice and hydrating on the lips i love it yeah so those are just all my favorite skincare routines that i've been doing um trust me when i say that your skincare routine is a lot more important than waking up and putting on makeup do your skincare routine first um, and see the changes that it can actually deliver to your skin. It is absolutely mind-boggling. It is amazing. It makes your skin look smooth, soft, bright, amazing. And then put your makeup on and see the difference. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all social media at Canby Rehal, and I will see you in my next one. Thank you.